In this tutorial, I will demonstrate labels and cross-referencing in LaTeX. So let's go over to my LaTeX editor. This is the Hello World program that I started with. So let's just compile it. And we're going to add to this document. Here's the document, very basic Hello World. I'm going to begin by adding a couple of sections. I'm going to use the section command. Section introduction. And a new section will be problem statement. So if I compile this, you can see now I have two sections. The first one says hello world, the second one is blank. Here we'll insert uh, some more text. And this is where I want to put in a cross-reference. So I want to make it say C section introduction. But the way that's going to work is, uh, well, let's put in a special character, backslash capital S. And that gives us this section symbol here. And how do we reference the section 1? What we have to do is we have to add a label to section 1. So I'm going to type here backslash label and I'll put sect intro and that this uh, this string is a reference to this section now so I'm gonna copy it and to reference it I use the ref command so backslash ref and I paste it here and I compile that and notice uh, it gave me a couple of question marks. I actually had to compile this twice because there is an auxiliary file that stores references and cross-references. And while the reference is defined, I just defined the cross-reference. It needs to link them, so I give it one more compile. And then the reference and the cross-references get linked. So took two compiles in this program. Maybe if you do it online, it takes one compile. It manages all that um, through share LaTeX in particular. But there it is. We put in this label, and then we reference it. And you can do the same thing with equations. For example, let's add an equation. So in TechShop, what's nice is you can go to the macros button, and then I can go mathematics and click on equation. And generally what I like to do is add comments that delimit this so that it trains my eye, helps me, <laughs> it, it helps me find my equations and edit them faster, basically. So here's an equation. And so to cross-reference it, I'm going to put parentheses because equation numbers come with parentheses. And then I, uh, well, we need to give it a label. So let's add a label, give it a unique string, be creative. And so I put in here ref, like that. And two compiles gets me uh, all the nice links. It says here, we introduce Newton's first law in equation one. You can also reference figures and subsections and all sorts of other things. This is just a brief introduction to referencing in LaTeX. So upcoming tutorials will include basic graphics and the use of a user-friendly editor called Lix. Thank you for watching. I hope you found it helpful. If you do, feel free to like the video or subscribe to the channel or share the channel or the video.